Welcome back to Cardinal Sins. I think it's my moment to move. Cardinal Delmont of Bone. Okay, we do know somebody comes in here, so I need a uh, safe place to hide. First order of business is can I get out of sight somewhere in here? It doesn't look like up here it can, unless. By the window here. It's still super bright. Oh, wow, that's, that's amazing. It's ridiculously bright. How about by the fireplace? Okay. So I don't know how quickly that guy comes back. I just want to know where I have a place to retreat to. Um. Right, I was also I was thinking about I was, I was thinking about stuff in the break between episodes, just, uh, as I was making more coffee. Um, I know I've done a lot of complaining about this mission up to this point. Here we are at the start of the fourth hour of the mission, um, and it's probably you know worthwhile talking about design stuff uh, more generally than just complaining, right? So, like, I could probably make a move here, but I'm going to... I'll wait for this guy to come, and uh, just to get a sense of how long his patrol is, because I didn't watch. Uh, and I suppose I could put the fire out, but there's so much light coming from the window, I'm not sure it's worth my time. Uh, hey, here he is. Okay. Where does he come when he's in here? So, one of the things that uh, he's doing a look animation, which is a little weird, because, like, is he actually... Supposed to be expecting to find something here? Uh, does he have something on his belt? Are they? If a beam taketh six nails. He still has. Uh, I'm tired of arguing with these old fools. Search the re rectory until you find Wallstrand's key to the crypts or Wallstrand himself. Bring him to me, but keep it quiet. Okay, he is searching. He's like searching for the key. He's not doing a very efficient job of it, but he is searching. Um, okay. Sneeze. All right, what was I going to say? Um, right, the difficulty that I've had on this level, right? Difficulty... As I mentioned when I was going, trying to pick the lock uh, to the door that went to the small chapel, it's, this is a place I have a skill to do, right? That was a difficult encounter with a short window of opportunity to get in, pick some of the lock, hide, or, or you know, get away from the Hammerite site, Yep. and uh, then come around again at the right time for a second go round or a third I think I did it in two but it might have need it might have been three I can't remember um, definitely very small windows of opportunity so that was a, that was definitely a uh, difficult encounter um, but it was made a whole lot more difficult by the fact that there was nowhere nearby to retreat to even like if there had been a deeper shadow across just across the square from it. Um, or a little bit west in the, there's a doorway just to the west of that area that was not a deep shadow, but could have been. Um, so, you know, it's a close area to retreat to in between op opportunities that you can still scout from. That's really good. Um, like, shadow is not just a place to hide. Shadow is a place to observe and gain information from. Um, and so having, having places of shadow to scout for is, is really useful. But that's not really what I wanted to go for. What I wanted to... Uh, comment on is just how how much of this level so far has been very very generally difficult generally hostile areas lots of light very few shadows lots of patrolling guards lots of different angles that guards can be coming and seeing you from uh, which is the thing that is um, in my experience, not well considered by a lot of mission authors. Even when they place, they play, build levels that are very nice with lots of lots of sight lines, can make a level feel really open, can be really great for architecture, and is often incredibly hostile for stealth because you can have guards coming at you from all directions and you can't keep an eye on all directions at once. Um, but uh, yeah, so generally this has had a very pretty high level of hostility throughout. Um, about the only room I felt safe in was that 
that little storeroom that I was in just across the just across the uh, the bridge back there. Um, that's the only one that hasn't felt hostile. This one obviously I've got a nice comfy corner in. Uh, and I could make a move, but I'm busy thinking and talking rather than making a move. But uh, yeah, so one of the crucial things about designing level is pacing it. And um, pacing in a, uh, obviously in a linear shooter is a completely different thing than pacing an open, well, open is not right, the right word, but, uh, you know, not open world kind of open where you where you just got terrain that can move in any direction, but the openness of a thief level, there where you have multiple ways to go, uh, and you have a, generally a pretty free choice about which ways to go at any point, um, and you, you know, usually have quite a lot of options about how you would approach things and from which side and when. So you don't, you're, so as a level designer, you don't have you don't have control of pacing. Uh, in time, because that's up to the player when they decide to move and when they don't. I mean, you obviously have some influence, but uh, you don't have control of pacing in space about where the player chooses to go. Again, you can limit it down and, and a little bit, but you do it too much and the player just feels trammeled anyway. So neither of those are things to... Uh, um, that you have really full control over. Um, but what you do have control over is the gradients in space of difficulty and ease of friendly versus hostile. Uh, if you've read any of, if you, I can't remember whether it was a Game of Sutra post or not. Randy Smith did a GDC talk, which the slides are available, um, talking about his valence uh, theory to stealth level design, uh, which I always thought was a clunky word, but, uh, you know, he uses the terms positive and negative valence to indicate areas of the level that attract the player versus, um, repel them. Um, whereas attracting them is obviously dark spaces, carpets, not many guards, uh, in terms of, you know, the way the space feels friendly or hostile is, is what the way I prefer to frame it, but, uh, it's a lot of different uh, ways you can frame it. Um, and he talks about, you know, placing those and considering the areas are hostile or not. Not just in a, well, you build layers of hostility and safety in the, and plan of the different approaches that a player has. You know, how much they have to move through hostile places, uh, how much they have safety along the way. Uh, you have a lot of control over over the different places, over uh, you know gradients you want to build through those. Um, obviously, the player is trying to get to most places in terms of goals. They obviously want loot, and generally, you put more of the loot in the more hostile places um, because that way it feels guarded, and that way those places feel more important. Um, now, uh, I think. There was also a Gamer Sutra post. I forget what Gamer Sutra renamed themselves to. Are they just GameDeveloper.com now? I don't remember. They renamed themselves because apparently someone didn't like the term Gamer Sutra. Did I look the lid up here? I know, because because some people think the Gamer Sutra is some kind of bad book because they're all fucking curious. Into. Hello. I'll take that. Okay, I can sit here safely for this guy. I'll just wait here. I should check that ledge too, right? It might be something on there. Probably not. That ledge is a nice place where someone might stash something, but ordinary people can't reach that one. Um, either way, anyway, so there's, there's a blog post on Game of Sutra again going, talking about this valence theory a bit more. Um, the GDC talk I don't think is available publicly. They're, like, they're recording the talk, but slides are. The Game of Sutra post is probably a better place to look. Also, uh, Robert Yang, um, on his Radiator blog, uh, I believe wrote a post uh, discussing uh, this some more as well, uh, which is a good read. Um, and Justin Kevin on his uh, Groping the Elephant blog, um, 
took it and wrote a whole lot more about it and some of the deficiencies he thinks that the Fearless series have has and some uh, you know just developing that a little further with a little more nuance um, all excellent reading um, the but the gist of it is like you build in the pacing by by having places that are more hostile places are more friendly what vision has to come upon nothing me? nothing and varying those up if uh, the player experience over time is their experience as they move through these different spaces. I can't see. Do I want to rope it? Let's rope it. We can rope it. Let's rope it from there, actually. So I don't hurt myself getting off it. Um, yeah, nothing. As I expected. Okay, he goes a long way. Oh, there's somebody else around. No, I can't get in there. Doesn't seem like there's anybody else wandering around on this floor. I'm hearing doors, but they might not be coming out here. But they might be on this floor. Oh shit, he's coming this way. Who's that and where are they going? Okay, that's my friend. Where was- where the hell- Okay, he's the one guy I thought was up here, but there's clearly someone else as well. Didn't he come into this room? Fucking bathroom. That's no good for me. Cardinal Galleon of Suit. Getting stuck on damn furniture again. nowhere in shadow in this whole room. Now he's not supposed to be searching Kellyanne's room, right? Okay, we've got a closet. Oh, hello. Very good closet. Uh, finish the thought. Yes. Um, as a level as a whole, like for individual areas, obviously you want places... Uh, you definitely want some places to be feel more difficult, dangerous. Um... As, as individual, you know, guarded points of entry, places with loot that are guarded, etc, etc, of course, that's, that's obvious. On the level as a whole, though, you really need to mix it up a lot, because if the whole level... This is really Gort, the problem that Gort has, and uh, he does come and search here. Um, if the whole level feels more or less equally hostile, it becomes a chore to play. You don't, you know, you're constantly under stress. You almost never have uh, any chance to relax. Um, this is kind of a big problem with alien isolation too. Uh, a lot of people, uh, myself included, did, did not find it uh, really uh, possible to play. Is this that way? Is way we saw the guards going down there? Okay. Yes, if we want to get down there. Um, that's the way we go. Uh, because because of a constant I mean, alien isolation again, I had a pretty for most of it. Well, it, it didn't vary it up enough. It had way too many areas that were just constant stress for uh, entire levels because of the decision to have the alien always magically know where you were. Um. And to be able to hear you really easily, it kind of was a chore. Um, and you really need to be pacing the entire level around that, not have like if this this whole this 
place. Like almost every room, almost every corridor is guarded, and uh, there's somebody patrolling through. Often multiple people. Um, it's just make, it makes it very, very slow and uh, continually uh, stressful. Uh, not to mention, you know, that there's the tools that players have for dealing with being stressed by guards and deep are knocking them out so that they're no longer a problem, or, you know, or killing them if you're on a low enough difficulty, uh, or safe scumming. Safe scumming is a great way to just remove stress. It's like, oh, I got seen, never mind, reload, try again, do it slightly differently, now I know exactly how the level goes. I think if you... If, like me, you don't like saves coming, you prefer to avoid it, um, then you've got to be building Hi Judith and Hollow Furnace with this... Something approach. Hollow head. Um... And the Ulrich, okay. If I remember that name, I don't remember why. Okay, we've got a holy symbol that's not blessed, we're gonna to need to bless it. Which the mission instructions just said we need a holy symbol, right? Didn't I only know that we need to bless it because I played uh, uh Return of the Cathedral, as of course anyone playing this mission will have. But as, a, as an objective requirement, it's not clear that it has to be a blessed holy symbol, and I'm sure it does. Because otherwise, why the holy water stuff? Hello? It's a good book. I like that book. Friend is coming back. I do feel like I left a sentence unfinished, and I don't know what it was. This is why I try not to talk and move at the same time, because I cannot keep both things in my head without losing track of what the fuck I'm doing. Um, but yeah, like like this this place feels as hostile as the entrance to the main altar did, as did the street outside everywhere in this level so far. I felt basically like everywhere is super important and should be full of loot and it's it's not just that it makes it stressful it's just like the character of the mission is like uh which places do these people feel is important to guard the, the chapter house really needs to have multiple yeah, he went into... I mean, there's multiple guards searching the rooms, I get that, story-wise. Don't know which room he went into and where he's going to come out from, and that's a problem for me. I guess I've got a safe spot here. Um... Yeah. I don't know, that's basically... Basically, kind of what I wanted to say is... is Got to mix up the uh, difficult of areas, of, uh, difficulty of areas, just to give it a level some variety. Okay, that's the hallway guy there. But where's the other guy? Hallway well, guy goes into that room. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Okay, he comes out of that door. Hallway guy sometimes comes this way? Oh, right, hallway guy goes into that room sometimes as well. Wow, maybe they both vary it up a bit. Interesting. We should be able to go out behind them now. That's... Timing has worked out. Um... 
Yeah, and obviously you have you you can give a lot of control in Thief over just how hostile places. You have a lot of variables you can tweak to make it super difficult. Or difficult is not the right word, right? Difficulty difficulty is a terrible word because difficulty is a function of player. Uh... Oh. I don't know, Wall's friend of Sunnyport. I know so I know the dudes come in here sometimes. I feel like I should be pretty safe up here. While I wait and see where they come and where they don't. I didn't shut the door. Dang it, I went here and opened the door. Okay, here I'm opening the other door. He's gonna come in here and look around, right? So he's still looking for the key. They're both going to think that he just closed the door behind them. You know what? Leaves that one open. So I can hear the other one open. If I need it. Scroll. Okay, let us <laughs> climb atop the shelf and read it. Good news! Ulrich is with us. He will declare at tomorrow's meeting. Also, Ulrich has conjured a holy barrier in the crypt. Even if Prius gets his hand on both keys, he won't get to the crown without a blessed holy symbol. Even if he had the time to forge one, he'd have a hard time getting it blessed since the holy water fountain is broken. Alright, I take it back. This is making it clear that it needs to be blessed. I have a battalion of loyalist men riding in from Elbridge in case Proyas doesn't wish to accept the outcome of the vote. I'll be in the library if you need to speak to me. Rejoice, victory is at hand. Praise the builder, Martinian. Alright, uh, Martinian is in the library. Okay. We haven't been in Martinian's room yet, but I don't expect we're going to find the key in there. Knowing that he comes right in here, I don't know exactly the timing. I'm just going to sip some more coffee for a minute. Like, uh, I appreciate the idea here. Here we are, you know... Um, this, this kind of hide-and-seek in amongst these rooms that they're searching is very cool. I like it. Um, it's a really good idea. It's unfortunate that all the passageways in the cathedral and stuff outside, you know, just the ordinary hallways have been so full of people coming and going all the time that... It's, it's just... Everywhere is constant threat in this entire level so far. Family jewels burglarized. Took him right off his crotch. You don't have also have instructions? You should, right? You should also have instructions. Not valuable that is. I don't know how I missed that. Okay. You're going that way now. Where's our other friend? Hello, hang on. What the fuck are you doing there? Going that way. Oh my god. Are you all just going randomly around? My safe corner here, I guess. Oh, that was lucky timing. Okay, you're not predictable. You both go. 
into various different rooms. Wait, what? Alright, well I think I think I'm done on this floor, right? I've been in, I've been in all those rooms. No, I didn't go into that one that he's went into right now. Which he's gonna come out of. This guy's gonna go into the end room, I think. Listen for the doors. And again, if you can knock people out, then there actually isn't any challenge in this area, so... It's definitely... It's definitely the case that I am making some of this difficulty for myself. Um, oh, have I been in here? It's familiar. No. I would have grabbed all that had I been in here. Alright, we've got a nice corner here to hide in. Unvaluable spectacles. A healing fruit. How, how very religious of you. Again, not sure of timing. Probably have plenty of time. But I'm going to play it slightly safe and slightly slow. It means I get to drink my coffee as well. Yeah, having that as a bonus objective, no knockouts, is a great way to encourage people to um, avoid enemies a bit more without, you know, really punishing them if they choose they want to play with knockouts anyway. Whereas, don't be seen at all just is so much more difficult than no knockouts, so it's not generally a good objective unless you really, really strongly design a level to have plenty of opportunities not to be seen. Man, I have moist. We have tons of time in here. If thou hast a child and teach him not of truth or of well made work, then better hadst thou taken thy child and put out his eyes and ears. Hath you done him such a great evil? Wow. You like your uh, violent stunt people. Hello. And carrot. Grab that. I have not looked around this room much at all either. Grab that plate, but. Uh, ugh. Really bad. <laughs> bad wine. Hello. That's valuable. I'm behind the purse there. Because I want to get down the stairs. I think I've got a moment now as soon as this goes past. Yes. Yes. He agreed with me that that was the moment. Not seems to be much in the way of shadows in this room. Not necessarily need shadows. There's is to hide behind us. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Well, actually, I don't know if they... It seems peaceful now. I don't know if this pillar's block line of sight or not. Halt! Be someone there? That was only rats, in truth. <laughs> it appears they do. Move through there. Identify thyself. She's coming back again already. Mm, I do wonder what it was, but it seems gone now. now. Mm -hmm. I thought that being able to dodge around this pillar was nice, but no, it's not. It's just annoying because you got to dodge around it, and then 
go over the fucking tile floor anyway when the guy comes back immediately. So you don't have any windows. two different people, which is always possible as well. There are two people there, I just can't tell from footsteps who's, who's, who's in which place. I'm gonna have to go behind him when he's out here. Ugh, I'm gonna have to use a moss here, I think. I'm gonna move fast. <clears throat> Has someone come? Well, I see nothing now. He just does not spend much time there. Okay, light off. Light off. Okay, I can stop, I can observe, I can plan. Well, I see nothing. Loot. Now. Readable. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the fireplace for the banner that I probably cannot slash. But uh, I have now places to hide. And that door leads south onto the street, right? Oh, into the courtyard, that's right. I might want to check the courtyard, I don't know, I haven't really been in the courtyard. I should check the dining room on the other end of this place. Sacred Rituals of the Hammerite Order by Brother Joram of Blackbrook. When a Hammerite brother is to be promoted to priest, he must prove his skills by forging a holy symbol, a hammer made of the purest enamel. The symbol is then immersed in holy water. If the brother's faith is strong enough and the hammer was properly purged of all impurities during its creation, the hammer will acquire the builder's blessing. A priest's holy symbol must be blessed before embarking upon any significant magical undertaking. Sometimes a priest attempts to bless his holy symbol, but the process fails. If this occurs, it is taken as a sign that his intended course of action does not have the builder's approval. In such a case, he is expected to retire to his cell and meditate for several weeks, praying for guidance and restoring his faith. Alright, that's good news. So, uh, if holy symbol... Doesn't work. Stop and meditate for a few weeks. Good. Got a plan now. Halt. Be someone there. That was only a rat. There's nothing else to need from this room, right? There's nothing there now. <laughs> No, looks like that's it. Alright, we'll go out behind this guy now. I thought I heard something. Back to our awkward, not very safe corner. But we can wait here for him to go around again and then get out over that side into the dining area. Identify that someone there. Again, the peripheral vision. They're so bright that they see a lot. If this, the upstairs was good, the upstairs was good, cat and mouse, this does not feel good. This just feels extremely frustrating and annoying. He's not really guarding anything much. Has someone come? Right, this one we can, this one we can squeeze around. The other one we can't. Those two look like valuable plates. Yeah. We could turn a light on in here, but we don't want to do that, really. I think that would be foolish. I don't know that I actually found the guy's room, Martinian's room, but... Maybe I did, I'm not sure. I can't play the harp. No stars. 
Oh, we have a downstairs. Is this a wine cellar? It's a door that is not a door. It's a door that is not breakable either. Very weird. Alright, uh, I guess I do want to go out to the courtyard. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's much better. I didn't even notice that light switch there before. I can't see it from here at all. Now this is actually a, a reasonably nice corner. I mean, I don't mind dodging around pillars in bright light. I like... I do like having, um, you know, mixing shadows. Shadows are good in the right places. Having having occlusion that you have to keep moving around is very good. It's a lot more dynamic <clears throat> and uh, requires a lot more attention and reaction. Did something make a noise? Good. <laughs> you didn't hear that. It all seems peaceful now. Of course, you'd be much quicker to react, and it's extremely difficult when you got people coming in multiple directions. Halt! Dang, I can't get past this guy. Oh, this is the street. And the builder said, <sighs> "Here's the street. Okay, not the courtyard. Right, that's the building we saw out here. Okay." I do wonder what it was. Fine, then, then we need to get out to the courtyard. Um, isn't there a doorway on this floor? I didn't see another doorway on this floor. It seems strange that there wouldn't be one. I should have gone then. That night. Drop down behind him. Oh, there's a door right there, in front of my bloody eyes. Hmm. I thought I spied something. Another light I can turn off. Nice. Okay. It's just that particular pillar is awkward, because I guess it's too close to the... Uh, Pull up from the doorway so you can't touch around that one. These ones are much nicer. Oh, Guard in the courtyard. Oh, there's a well. That's interesting. Okay, we've got the steps back up, which we know about. Alright, we've been here, right? I can mark that as an X. Um, we've been in this corridor. Oh, there's way down to the bars from here. Actually, that's that's important. Bars are from the north side of this corridor, which I can't see right now. We could run around behind this guy. Maybe that's patrolling. <coughs> Uh, good thing I got that light, because otherwise this would be much too bright a spot to sit in and observe. So thank you also for lights we can turn off. Um, that makes that's, that's significantly nicer. I still think this ground floor is way too... A lot more hostile than it needs to be, but uh, then I can adapt it somewhat. It's nice. Hast someone come? Oh, 
That's the bathhouse. Ah, that's Cardinal Martinian's room, and his room is the door that doesn't open. Okay, so that's actually here. M. Noise tile floor everywhere in here, I guess. Oh no, this is not. Ah, Walsh friend. Fine day for a bath. I don't suppose you'll just give me your key and save us all some unpleasantness? So it's come to this, Prius? No respect for the will of the council? I thought this sort of business was conducted in back alleys, not the holy precincts of the builder. I have no more use for the council. Once I crown myself emperor, the brethren will gladly follow me into battle. The days of the Imperium are long gone. You dream of a world that died 200 years ago. In any case, you've miscalculated. The key is not here. It doesn't have to be this way. Let us deal with each other as honorable men. Tell me where it is, and you'll be allowed to retire quietly. Someplace warm. <laughs> An honorable man would have let me finish my bath first. But if this is how you want it, then so it shall be. I have found thee, Philip! Bitch! Pay thy servant. Back to the f <laughs> He's hitting his own guy in the back. I think. <laughs> I think they got him. Thou shalt not Thou be found, coward. I assume they're talking about. They're talking to the key now, right? Hmm. All right. Well, developments have occurred. <laughs> this much I do know: thou shalt be mine soon enough. This is one of the things that uh, has been a problem. Okay, he's got a key. I want. Just me before, even though it was pretty dark. Oh. Yeah, it was, there was enough light on the torch. Nope, he saw me again. Thou shalt not hide. Oh no, he didn't see me. He's res he's responding to the uh, my attempts to pickpocket him. I think. Where went he? Yeah. Never fear, I shall spy He's, for out. some reason I can't pickpocket him. He's got enough awareness of me that it doesn't work, and it just alerts him. Even though he can't actually see me, and it should totally work. Thou shalt not hide forever. Alright, well let's just watch where he goes, I suppose. The problem is he's going to go somewhere. I'm not going to go where. I'm not going to go know where to go looking for this key. I, I, I probed it then. Oh shit! He heard my footsteps again. Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Dang! Fancy floors.
Man, you've got a guilty conscience, man. There's nobody here. You're just afraid somebody saw you murder the other cardinal. How are you? He did see me. <laughs> Guess he's supposed to be able to observe that from relative safety, but... Why shall I skip you for as long as I need to, Fen? I'm sorry. Uh, whatever your name is. Prius. Okay, he's moved on now. Where did he go? Okay, he's going up the stairs. Hang on, I can't see how far up. There's these fuckers. Yes, scouting orbs might be useful after all, huh? Gah, face me, villain! Oh my god. For it. <sighs> I have only to wait. Tis <laughs> still behind. <sighs> well, so much for seeing where the other guy went. I have absolutely no idea. Alright, we'll shut these doors. We'll take this opportunity to uh, clear out any of these lockers of valuables. If they have any. I mean, why would they, right? People will store their clothes in here while we're in the baths. Now he's coming back again. <laughs> Did he just go out again? It does sound like he just went out again. Okay, we'll worry about the vent later. Nothing of interest for us here. There is that vent, so I do want to check out the vent. That's going to be the kind of the last thing I do. Do I jump in this water or is, there, is it going to hurt? Let's find out. Okay, it doesn't. Oh shit, we've got a fucking novice coming in here? Oh, he's coming downstairs. Help! I see, the other guy went running to, for help. And, put, and brought two other guys in, one who said, I see nothing now, and the novice came down to investigate and decided to run away as soon as there was a sign of danger. I mean, points for your uh, curiosity there, novice. L you lose points for bravery. Where is this guy patrolling? Tis too large a sound for a rat. Shit. <laughs> Thou wilt be found, coward. You heard me Thou stepping on the tiles. Found. I was just trying to listen for him coming around this way, but he was coming the other way. Thou art discovered. Prepare thy soul, sinner. <laughs> Oh wow, you're mad. You're so mad you jump on the up on, on the bench to get me. Alright. Now I shall swim! How about that? Is there actually anything here I need? Alright, there's the vent, is all I need, right? Give thou up this foolish hiding! 
Oh, he's stuck on the bench now? Die, die, die. <gasps> yes. So where's this door? That's... Well, that's the bathroom. There's another door up this way that I... In his excitement, he stepped up on the bench and he cannot get down now because it's too high for him. Second bathroom. I know thou dost creep around here. Thou shalt die. Yeah, shall I die then? <sighs> Give thou up this fool! All oh, right, I could. S oh, interesting. I could get in these vents, maybe from there, but I can look in from here. But I can't. These vents are not accessible from in here, okay. You do have to wonder about... I mean, you expect ventilation in this room, because you perhaps... Controllable, so you could, so you could get the steam out. Okay, there? so I want to go up the stairs now. Who's this? Somebody go up on that balcony, maybe. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Amaram, it was just the wind then. You know what? coming from the other direction right now. Well, the novice is still coming around to hunt for... for me. But I am not there, villain. Where aren't I, villain? Wait, one of those guys had an openable window onto this balcony? I don't remember that. Ow. Ow. Cheeky bugger. Well, this is the pub, I suppose, I'm supposed to rob. <laughs> the oldie warehouse <laughs> pub. That's right, I remember the name of it. Supposed to be a public house, not not a public slaughterhouse. Now I got you. See, that shouldn't happen. She turns around instantly. Yep. Fine. Keep your damn arrows. Where is this? Is this anywhere of interest? Some kind of factory place. Well, I suppose it's of interest because it's a place to hide from the uh, arrow guard. But I feel like I'm never going to be able to pick his arrow from behind him if he's always this uh, aware of things. We'll have to see when he comes back. I'm getting big frame rate drops looking out that way. Because <laughs> it's rendering too much.
the hell, man? Trying to get me killed here? Okay, I got it. Fine, problem solved. Now about this pub. There's one guy downstairs and I should have shut the fucking door behind me because otherwise the cop is going to be looking in here as well. <clears throat> oh good, I can douse these. That's, that's nice. I can see a lot of dousing in my future then. Stairs up. Okay. What am I doing here in the pub? Uh, steal the weeping widow statue. Okay. Whatever it happens to be. I wonder if that's what these guys are here for. Are they, are they here to guard it or are they trying to. Or are they trying to loot it? No, oh, never mind the, stat the statue. Do you have any nice. Nice wines here. No? Not one? Some small change. I can't quite tell if maybe you have... <laughs> one stacked behind the other bottles that I can't quite see. No, it doesn't look like it. And all these ones are fake. FAKE bottles! Ugh, what kind of pub is this? They're not silver, just all pewter. Terrible. stack of credits, right? Nothing suspicious about that. We gotta get in there. He's gonna be coming back. Okay, those doors do open, apparently. does not come in here. These ones are not fake. Are any of these valuable? Oh, that one is. Those are the fake ones. And those doors do not open. I just mistook these other crates for doors. What about up here? Any more Biddly Bong? Oh, I wasn't Biddly Bong. Are these crates hiding anything? No. Just bottom of the wine cases. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to uh, end this episode. Let's try not to get seen by this fellow. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and uh, see you here soon for the next one. We're going to find this statue. Hello. Someone there. More safely than that. Nothing here now. See you then. <laughs>